In this video, we're going to evaluate this integral whose integrand is a rational expression. And the denominator does factor. You can factor out an x here, and we get x times x squared plus 1. So I think we'll use partial fraction decomposition. So we got one factor is linear and the other one is, a, is an irreducible quadrat quadratic. So we can write the first one, the linear factor is a over x. The irreducible quadratic could have first degree or lower. So we'll write that as bx plus c over x squared plus 1. And let's clear the fractions by multiplying through by the LCD, which is x times x squared plus 1. So that'll leave me a 1 on the left side. When I multiply by the LCD, the x will cancel here in the first fraction on the right. Give me with a x squared plus 1. And in the second fraction on the right, the x squared plus 1 will cancel. And that will leave me with bx plus c times x. And there are several ways you could set up this uh, solution here. So as you can see, I'm going to break it down completely. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to collect the uh, terms that are like here. Multiplying through by a. And it's first parenthesis, I get an ax squared. Second parenthesis, multiplying by x, I get an x squared with a b. So I'm going to group those terms together. So a plus b multiplies the x squared. I'm just collecting terms. That's all I'm doing here. Then I have a plus here. Then multiplying here by, by x, I got a cx here. Multiplying here by a, I get a a times 1 is a. And let's do it this way. I'll we'll have an x squared term on the right side with coefficient a plus b. On the left side, I don't have an x squared term, so the coefficient there is 0. This has to be an identity, so that means that since I don't have an x squared on the left side, this coefficient a plus b has to be equal to the coefficient on the left side, but that's zero. And I got a linear term on the right side, c. c multiplies the x. There's no linear term on the left side, so c has to be zero. c multiplies the x, which is a linear term. There's no linear term on the, right, on the uh, left side, so c has to be zero. The a is a constant on the right side, and the only constant on the left side is 1. So that tells me that a has to be 1. So c is 0, a is 1, but I know that a plus b has to be 0. So since a is 1, then that tells me that b has to be negative 1 in order to satisfy this equation here. So now we can replace the values here. So this then is going to come down to the integral. Here we have the decomposition a over 1, but we found a to be 1. So this is 1 over x plus, and then for this part over here, bx plus c, b is negative 1, so this will be a minus x here, and c is 0. So that leaves me with this, minus x over x squared plus 1. That's dx here. And I can break this up into two integrals, or I can just do it this way and say, okay, let's do it here. 1 over x, that should be easy to recognize. That's just the natural log of absolute x. And of course, the general formula for that one is du over u is equal to ln of absolute u plus the constant of integration. But this is just a formula. So we used it here. And then for this one here, notice the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. I have minus x. So this would tell me then that the integral of this would have to be a minus 
one half natural log of absolute x squared plus one, but x squared plus one can never be negative. So I don't need the parentheses there. I can just put it this way. And then it's plus the constant of integration. Now let me do this on the side, just in case I've done enough of these before on other videos, but let me do this on the other side over here. Let's see, because all I'm doing here is two integrals. So it's minus x over x squared plus one dx. And I'm going to do a substitution on that integral. I'm going to let u equal, just in case you can't see how I got this here, u is equal to x squared plus one. So du equal to the derivative of x squared plus one, which is two x dx. So if I want to use this, the u substitution here then, I would do this. Okay, here I have an x dx, x dx, and here I have an x dx. So let's offer x dx, divide by 2 here, divide by 2 here. This cancels out, so x dx is equal to du over 2. This minus, I'm going to take it outside here, minus, and then the x dx is replaced by du over 2. I'm going to put that out in front again. So this will be the minus 1 half over. And then the x squared plus 1, that's the u. So x and u, I'm using the same formula that I did for this first solution here, ln of absolute x. So this is just going to be equal to minus 1 half. And the integral of du over u, that's the natural log of absolute u. But again, absolute u, or, or u rather, is x squared plus 1, and that's never negative because of the x squared, the plus 1. So I can write it this way without the absolute values. So minus 1 half natural log of x squared plus 1. That's how I got this second part here, but this is this is your complete answer right here. Natural log of absolute x minus one half natural log of x squared plus one plus your constant of integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.